Hi, this is Marius Manalamus. Long story short, episode 15. Aging is the very interesting, I'm sure, subject of the day. We all age after all, right? <laughs> so why wouldn't you be interested in what I have to say about it? People think of, often, often think of aging as a bad thing, and for good reason. Our physical appearance deteriorates, our health weakens, and we have difficulty keeping up with all the new trends in society. Thus leading many younger in, to many younger individuals thinking of older people as a burden. But is that really how it is? Because what I've noticed is that oftentimes, when the stakes are high, when the stakes are raised, most of us turn to those older people for guidance. Many country leaders head advisors are much older than the leaders that they are advising, even though there is virtually no restriction as to who you could hire at that post. Why is that? There is, of course, an argument to be made that with these people being around longer than younger potential candidates, they, ha they, are, non -mo they are more known as personalities in the hiring circles and uh, have more connections therein. This is what we often call the old boys club. But is it just it? Well, I don't think so. Because, after all, we very often see younger people voting for older ones. Even when there is a candidate closer to their age group. But we very rarely see the opposite happen, if ever. Well, not unless there's foul play involved anyway, like nepotism or promises of preferential and often illegal treatment post uh, the election campaign. The reason why this keeps happening, the reason why we oftentimes turn to our elders for guidance when the stakes are high is because they have something that is nigh impossible for younger individuals to have. They have experience. And we seek to benefit from it, and rightly so, in order to avoid making the same mistakes as them. On the other hand, Aging doesn't instantly bring experience and thereby value to your words. You need to have devoted the right amount of time and attention while you were younger in order to gain the necessary set of experiences for your words to have any sort of value when you get older, in order to become a sought-after sage when you get older. There's a beautiful newly built structure close to where I work. I believe it belongs to European University of Cyprus, but I could be wrong. The building is sort of wrapped inside a metal exoskeleton, metal net kind of thing, which is beautiful, no doubt. But how will it age? The exoskeleton of the building is so complicated. It has so many small metal surfaces that will either be very expensive to maintain, that being to clean and uh, repaint if needed, or, more likely, will be left there to slowly rust and decay. In other words, it won't age well at all. That building is a metaphor for so many of our lives. Some of us waste our youths without gaining the right experiences, and so when we get older, we're, we're just that, we're just old. Old instead of wise. All form and no substance. Just like the building I just mentioned. And so when nobody wants to hear from us when we get old, that's our fault, it's not theirs. It is said that when Themistocles was young and after informing his father Neocles that when grown up he would like to become a politician, his father took him to a stroll on the beach and showed him the carcasses of some old ships and told his son, 
Look, Themistocles, look, my boy, what happens to politicians when people no longer have need of them. And he did so because he wanted to discourage his son from becoming a politician. I will cut a long story short here by extending Neocles' thought process a bit because I do not think that this applies only to politicians. It applies to all of us. As we're getting old, we need to make sure that we also gain the right experiences to remain up to date with the times. Just like the people that are advising the heads of state. If we're in a race where everyone else <laughs> is using speedboats, we would stand no chance if all we had was uh, a sailboat. And so it is our responsibility to make the necessary adjustments and upgrades to our skills and experiences in order to remain useful well into our older, ye well into our older years, in order to upgrade from a sailboat to a speedboat and remain competitive, in order to age well and not left, not be left to rust and to decay.